Right, good afternoon guys. Let's um let's get on with our phonics recap for this afternoon. So we've got our phase three cards, um flashcards that we're going to go through in a sec. So I'll turn them over, you tell me the sound you see, and then I'll say the sound after so you can check whether you've got it right. We are then going to have a quick recap over the sound we learned this morning. We'll have a go at writing that new sound and some of our other sounds that we've been learning in phase three. Then we're going to have a go at um, reading some phase three words, and I've got a, a mixture of different phase three sounds that we've learnt for us to have a go at reading those words. And then we've got a phase three sentence to have a go at writing. So let's get on, flashcards first, are you ready? Let's go. J. Ng. A. E. I. O. R. O and O. And remember, so this one, this O and this O, they make two different sounds. So we have the longer sound that we learnt yesterday, which is the O sound, as in zoom, zoom. And it also makes the O sound, which we've been learning today, as in k -o -k, cook, book, book, look, look. Okay, so it's the U uh sound that we've learned today, but it makes the two sounds, the U uh sound and the U uh sound. Okay, right, grab, um, go and pause me, pause me now, go and get yourself a piece of paper and a pencil or something to write on and something to write with, and then come back to me and we're going to have a go at writing some sounds. Okay then, so first sound we're going to have a go at is that U um, uh and U uh sound, so it's a uh, um, all the way around the orange, all the way around the orange, okay, oh, 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 ooh, okay, so remember it makes the two sounds a little bit confusing, but we'll get there with it, so we'll just keep on um, trying to remember which one it is, and sometimes we might just have to do both of them and see which one sounds best, okay, so oh, oh, ooh, now pause me um, and have a go at doing that that sound um, three more times for me. Okay, the next one we're going to have a go at is the qu sound. Okay, we haven't done this one for a little while. So it's a diagraph again, two letters make one sound. So we curl round and up, down, flick, and then down and round and up and down and flick. So these two together make the qu sound, as in qu in, qu it, okay? So pause me, have a go at doing three more of those for me. Okay, the next one we're going to have a go at isn't a diagraph, it's the trigraph that we've learned. Okay, so trigraph is three letters that make one sound. So it's the I sound and it starts with an I first, so down, curl round, dot for the top and then a G. So curl round and up and down and flick. And then the last sound in the trigraph is a, goes up and down and over. So I, it, g, 
together make the I sound trigraph. Right, pause me, have a go at doing that one three more times for me. Okay then, next one we're going to have a go at is the F sound, okay? So another um, diagraph, okay? Two letters make one word, and this time it's down the tower, across the tower, and down, back up, and over. T and a H make the F sound, as in N, then. So pause me, have a go at doing that one three more times for me. Okay, so so far we've got the U and the O sound, we've got Q, we've got I, we've got F, and now we're going to have a go at R. Okay, so R is another digraph, two letters make one sound, so the first one is an A, so we curl round the apple, down the leaf. And it's a R, uh, so down, back up, and over, A, uh, and an R uh, together make R. Uh. So the R uh sound. So pause me and have a go at doing that one three more times for me. Okay then, so our sound today was the U uh sound, as in K, U, uh, K, Cook, as in W, U, uh, U, Wool, as in W, uh, O oh, d wood, as in g o oh, d good, as in b o oh, k book, and h o oh, k hook. So o, oh, okay. Right now we're going to move on to reading some of our other phase three um, sounds. So I've got a mixture of different sounds in here. Um, that we've already looked at and they're words that have got those sounds in so they're all phase three and we're going to have a go at reading them. So we're going to point to each of the sounds, say the sounds, put them together, read the words. Are we ready? Quit. 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 Shell. Shell. Chin. A o s a o sail k e p k e p keep n i t n i t night o o f o o f loaf and last one b o t Oot, boot. Well done. Okay, right then. Last thing we're going to have a go at is we're going to have a go at writing a phase three sentence. So you need your paper and your pencils again. So our sentence that we're going to have a go at writing is Can men jog to get fit? Okay, first word is can. So show me your hands. Let's work out the sounds in can. Are we ready? K, a, n can three so we need to do three lines are we ready one two three okay first sound in can K. now this needs to be a capital because it's the start of a sentence so we curl round the caterpillar okay can what comes next K -a. okay so we go around the apple down the leaf okay K -a. last sound in can N. So down Nobby over his net. So can. Now next sound it next word is men. So show me your hands. Let's work out how many sounds are in men. M mm. e eh. n mm. men. How many we've got? We've got three. So we're going to do a finger space. So it's a new word, and then we're going to do our three lines. So one, two, three. Okay. Men. First sound in men. Mm. Maisie, mountain, mountain. So, mm, what comes next? Men, m, e. So, take off the top and scoop out the egg. So, m, e. Last sound in men. Down knobby over his net. So, down knobby over his net. So, can, men. Now, next word is jog. So, show me your hands. 
let's work out how many sounds are in jog j o g jog three so finger space because it's a new word and then we're going to do one two three jog jog j okay so we come down and round and a dot for the top what comes next in jog j o all the way around the orange okay j o last sound in jog g okay go around and up and down and flick so we've got can men jog our next word is two now we're not going to use our fingers and work out how many sounds because two is a phase two tricky word we can't sound it out so we just need to know it so we're going to do our finger space because it's a new word and we're going to write two and it's a t and an o t o makes two so so far we've got can men jog two now our next word is get get so show me your hands we're going to work out how many sounds are in get g e t get three now you would if you're going to carry on on your piece of paper put a finger space and do your three lines i'm going to come down here because i haven't got any more room over there i'm going to go one two three okay get first sounding get g okay so we go round and up and down and flick okay get g e so take off the top and scoop out the egg and the last sound in get it's a t down the tower across the tower okay so we've got can men jog to get and our last word is fit fit so show me your hands let's work out the sounds in fit are we ready F it fit three so we need a finger space and then we're going to do three lines one two three fit begins with a f so we come round and down and flick round and a line across okay f what comes next in fit e so down and curl round and a dot for the top fit and a down the tower, across the tower. Okay, let's have a look at this sentence. Can men jog to get fit? Now we've got our capital letter at the start of our sentence. We've got our finger spaces, but on the end, we would usually put a full stop because it'd be the end of our sentence. But this is a question. And remember, we've been doing quite a few of these lately. On the end of a question, we use a question mark. And to do a question mark, we curl round and down and a dot. So, can men jog to get fit? Capital letter, finger spaces, question mark to finish. Really good sentence. 